Well, we were founded in 1963 by my grandpa. Started out as a small dozing company to supplement his farming, and it's just kind of taken off from there. My dad and my uncle are now the owners who took the company over from him, and now me and my brother and cousins are all involved and working. Uh, my name is Robbie Hopp. Uh, I'm an operator. I work for Hopp Construction. They're using three 4250 crushers, and two of them are set up right now as open circuit. One has the screen box on it, and they're making what they call an AB3 product. So they're shooting every day at four o'clock. They've got about a seven to nine foot ledge. They're uh, getting to the end of this pad now, and uh, the pad's 765,000 square feet. My name is Rob Franklin. I'm a aggregate specialist for Van Keppel in Kansas City, Missouri. We start out with the blasting, blast it down the size, and then we usually run in behind the blasting and just progressive crushing, just keep stepping through and crushing on. My name's Billy Weiniger. I work for Hop Construction. I'm a foreman. I've got three 4250 track style crushers loading um, two of them with one hoe and one with another hoe and just trying to make a lot of production. What they like about this unit is the 18 foot feeder. Uh, they're able to load that feeder up and that 4250 crusher in the opening is allowing that shot rock to go in and get them a production anywhere between 250 and 400 tons an hour. And when you're running three of those at one time, that puts a lot of material on the ground. And then we've tried some other crushers as well, but for the multitude of material in our area, they seem to be, be the one that will pull through when others not necessarily pull through. The mobility, obviously, the being able to as I would call it, crush and run, because typically our cuts are not deep like what would be in a quarry. You know, so we're constantly moving and just being able to move quick, it cuts down on your downtime and you're producing more. We tend to go back with KPI just for the mere fact of the, uh, the customer support, I would, I would call it. Um, ease of operation and as much as we move they just they're more what we're looking for the biggest thing that I will say about the 4250s is that they have managed to handle wet material and mud a lot better than anything else probably would because we've dealt with so much rain so far this season uh, the rain has really set folks back. I can't tell you how many inches. I, I think we're 18 inches or something like that for the year. It's been more than twice what we normally get for the whole year. So it's been a fight, it's been a struggle. Right now things are, are dry, which is great. So they try to make the most out of each day that it's dry. It's nice having American made equipment because the support's all here and it's quick if there is a problem. So Van Keppel, the service is second to none. We've got three excellent mechanics that uh, are able to get on the project. Uh, if they call us uh, and they need us out here, uh, we, we show up. Uh, we've been over backwards for not only these guys, but all of our customers. They've been very fast and always seem to come up with a solution to any problems we've had really quickly. Above all else, parts and service is extremely important to us. I expect to see a lot of growth out of this company uh, in this third generation. The boys are young, they're eager, uh, they're getting more and more experience with every job, and uh, They've got a handle on, on how to move and, and build these pads quickly. 
they were indoctrinated with a uh, huge project with 800,000 yards of material for their first project. So I think it's all downhill from here for them. Well, we hope to see a lot more growth. There's a lot of work in this area right now, and we're just trying to get as much of it as we can, so.